All right, all right, guys. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for uh showing at the right time, right? Eight o'clock. All right. So thank you so much. Uh, I just want to make sure that everybody has cameras on. All right. Remember, that's one of the first requirements: cameras on in order to complete the whole journey. Okay. So, how you doing tonight, everybody? Good. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. Remember, tomorrow is Friday. And, you know, everybody knows that, right? So I don't know what you guys are going to do tomorrow, but at the end of the at the end of the week, everybody's laughing, right? On Mondays, everybody's like this, right? Friday is everybody's like, you know, so but today is Thursday. What day is today? Thursday what? Anybody can tell me that? Yeah. No. Today is Thursday or Wednesday? Thursday, Wednesday. right? Thursday. Thursday, 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 right? Excellent, excellent. All right. So Thursday, what? What date? 21, 22, 20, 23rd. I mean, 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I'm sorry. My bad. 23rd. 23rd. Okay. 23rd. Excellent. All right. 23. Let me. All right, very good. Right on, right on. Okay, let me see. Let me uh, let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. First to the first, guys. Uh, we need to be motivated, right? Remember, I like to motivate my class all the time by reading anything or something that is going to give you, you know, like uh, encourage you. You know, I, I will. I like to encourage my my students and give them, you know, the best strength that they might have or that they might uh, show in the future. All right, so. Let's repeat motivation tonight. Come on, let's go. Motivation. Let's go. Motivation. 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 Okay. Okay. Motivation. motivation. Very good. Very good. All right. So we're not gonna waste our time today. Okay. Just real quick, you already know, right? The the commands. You already know the rules, right? So I'm not gonna be talking about that, but I need to let you know at the same time that please read the information that our coordinators are putting through our WhatsApp group, right? Being on time, complete activities that we have through our platform and all the things that we need to complete in order to, as a matter of fact, complete, you know, the activities. Okay, so let's see. Let me read this uh, first and then we are going to read it together, okay? So it says like this. Think positive, feel positive. Think positive, feel positive, live positive. All right, so let's repeat everybody. Think positive. Think positive. Feel positive. Feel positive. Think positive. And live positive. And live positive. And live positive. All right, very good, very good. It's easy to understand, right? Yes, everybody's is yes. clear with that. Everybody's clear with that, right? Very good, very good. All right, so stop me when you want me to, you know, repeat that one more time, all right? If you don't get it, if you don't understand, I will read it back to you and I will make the translation, all right? But after that, we're gonna be talking in English all the time, all right? Because I want you to, you guys, you know, keep, or start using or you know get used to your 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 ear, your ear you know listen listening all the time all right you need to uh, listen you know all the words or the expressions everything that i'm talking through the class okay so what it says over here think positive feel positive live positive all right so this part i like to explain it you know in spanish that this is the only part all right i'm going to, I'm going to explain this real quick okay Piensa positivo, vive positivo y vive positivo. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted, usted está negativo, está con, con este negativ negatividad, le iba a decir, imagínense. No, hombre, eso no existe. ¿Verdad? Entonces, negatividad, ¿verdad? Si está con negatividades, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, usted no va a poder agarrar lo que queremos uh, esta noche lograr comprender. All right? So, entendemos que estamos... Tal vez un mal momento y tal vez la clase no es la, la indicada para este momento que usted está. Pero yo le digo, todo es posible. Solo piense positivo. Siéntase positivo, positiva 
y viva positivo. Y créame que las cosas positivas usted las va a llamar. Esto no es tampoco una clase de, de karma ni nada por el estilo, ¿verdad? Ni nada de nada de, de nada de nada de eso que usted ya sabe, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo es una clase, o solo le estoy dando un, un mensaje positivo, right? Because if you are positive, I am positive. If I am positive, you are positive, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Send me yes, a, a, thumb, uh, a thumbs up, all right? So, and I will believe you, all right? So, go, go ahead. Let's see. Let me see. Mandeme ahí el, 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 el like. Very good, very good. I see one of them right now. Let's see. Susana. Let's see who else. Let's see. I see Jenny. Who else? Everybody needs to say that, right? So, if you don't send it, it's because you don't feel positive, you don't think positive, and you don't live positive, all right? So, Esto solo queda como a, a conciencia, all right? Very good, let's go. Uh, let's rock and roll with the class. Let's see what we are going to do tonight. Let's see, I feel with power tonight. I don't know what's going on. You know, I feel, you know, really excited because you know what happens? I feel positive, I think positive, and I live positive. And what thing happens to me today is that I, I rest. Today was my day off and I was sleeping all day long, all day long, all right? So good for you, digame. Good for you. Lucky you, dígame. ¿verdad? Lucky you. Yes, lucky you. Right, lucky me, right? Very good. All right, so, pero se lo digo con mucho respeto, sin ofender a los que trabajaron ahora, ¿verdad? Yo sé que se levantaron a las 5 de la mañana y yo me levanté a las 11 y media de la mañana y dormí hasta las 6 de la tarde otra vez. Solo comí y me fui a dormir otra vez. Anyways, let's go. Let's see. It says like this. Give me one second. We're going to double check right now the objectives, all right? So remember, every time that we are doing something, we need to complete or review the objectives that we are going to double check every day, okay? So, and it says like this, right? The new topic, I already mentioned this topic last night, right? Yesterday. And I told you that it would be the conjunctions. Repeat, conjunctions. Come on, let's go. Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Connectors. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Right on my class. Let's see. All right. So before we start this, guys, I just want to make sure that we are clear with the adverbs and adjectives, right? The topic adverbs and adjectives, adjectives that we checked a few days ago, a couple of days ago, right? Because we have two classes, you know, reviewing the same thing. Why Mr. Scamilla is taking longer by reviewing the same topic is because I, I I just like to make sure that you guys are understanding each definition, each exercise, each um uh, how can how how we can how how can we call this? Yeah, each definition from the topics that we're talking about. I just want to make sure I like that. All right. So that's why I took longer. There's no hay carreras aquí, okay? All right, let's see. This is Pero para completar esto, antes de ver los objetivos de esta parte, vamos a pasar a lo que es la, la plataforma. No sé si está habilitado usted para ver la plataforma, lo que yo estoy viendo. Dígame si lo está observando. Le mino. Ahí. Espérame que ahí. Very good. Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Remember, guys, this is the last, the last, how do you call it? Command or rule that I'm going to give, right? Every time that I'm talking, try to be or try to participate and placing yourself in mute. Try to find a way to put yourself in con el, el micrófono apagado cuando yo estoy hablando. Cuando me quiera hablar, lo desconecta y me empieza a hablar, porque si no se oye el feedback y hay interferencia, ¿verdad? Y no sé, y los compañeros que están en el grupo, que estamos en clase en línea, se oye bien feo. Eso es para todos, por favor. Muy amable, gracias. Vamos a ver esto rápidamente. Ok, let's go. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. 
It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. A noun verb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following. All right, guys. So uh, let me just give you a quick, uh, a quick parenthesis here. Uh, the the young lady here, the colleague, is uh, telling us that we need to complete some sentences, right, by using these adverbs or adjectives that you have there, right? Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat. All right. So if you can, you can take a screenshot and you can create, or I suggest you, le 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 sugiero. All right. I suggest you to. I suggest you to. Do, complete or create some uh, sentences, you know, by applying this uh, adverse and adjectives as well, okay? So, tomele una screenshot and that would be it, okay? Following a structure, X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. All right. All right, so let's see, uh, Laura Virginia, uh, good evening. Let's see, help me with the instructions reading, please. This part over here. I'm not quite sure if you are the one, Laura, or... Mirna Griselda, please help me with the instructions, please. Read that for me. In this exercise, you are giving some questions in order to answer. Then you need to choose the correct response, the best suite, the question. Real all the information careful. Okay, everybody repeat exercise. Everybody repeat exercise. Exercise. Let's repeat a sweet. A sweet. Carefully. 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 Given. Very good. All right, so what it says, this instruction over here, en ese ejercicio aparecen unas preguntas que... Para contestarlas deben escoger la respuesta que mejor se apegue a la pregunta. Lea cuidadosamente toda la información. Quick, uh, let me give you hey. a quick tip. If you guys oh, yeah. are talking, <laughs> if you guys are talking, <laughs> all right. Give me one second, vamos. Okay, hold on. All right, so guys, if you are um, talking English, right? I will suggest, yo quiero sugerirle, le, me gustaría sugerirle, I will suggest to be you. All right, so, esto es para todos, ¿verdad? No es personal ni nada por el estilo. Cuando usted esté hablando, try to open your mouth. And cuando usted mire una S, ¿por qué me detengo yo a esto? Porque quiero que vayamos con lineamiento desde el principio, ¿verdad? Si usted dice, si usted dice aquí, si dice aquí, questions, es questions porque lleva ese al final, ¿verdad? Given, given, lleva una N, given, 
All right. No give. All right. So them. Any. Choose correct response. Best sweets. I can see me the question. Este voy a estudiar todo right. ya. Teacher, podemos ahí a la compañía. Ya estuvo. All right. So, okay. Excellent. All right, guys. So let's uh, answer the first the first question. Right. It says like this. What still like is a in an interesting place. Oh, really? It's a beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Yes, I have it. I yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Yes, it has an amazing shopping, and the people are pretty friendly. No, really, it's too small and it's really boring. That's why I move away. Which option would be the the correct one? Number three, creature. Number three. Okay. Number, three. Number three. Excellent. All right. So, do you like, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number four. Hola. Number four. Number four. Number okay. Three. All right. So, what business like? Uh, I have never been there. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Yes. Number one. Yes. Number one. Number one, okay. Have you ever have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Number two, okay. Number All right. Two. So now let's see, Susana, Susanita, please. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, read the question and answer the question as well. Okay. Leame la pregunta y leame la respuesta al mismo tiempo. Okay. Go ahead. Come on, Susi. What so like? Is it an interesting place? Yes, it has amazing shopping Excellent. and the people are pretty friendly. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's see. Maria, number two, please. Same thing, same same way. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's Thank why I move away. Thank you very, very good. Uh, Joel, please, number three. Okay, just uh, what scene you like? I like never been there. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beach. Beaches. Beaches, beaches. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jose, number four. Jose Riverto. Okay. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Uh, yes, I have. It's an, an extremely large um, and crowded place, place, but love it. It has an excellent restaurant. Very good. Right on my class. Excellent. 20, uh, 33 to, uh, to 33. Very good. Very good. Let's see. All right. I'm going to be asking to everybody. Okay. Don't feel that que no le voy a preguntar a usted. Mi clase de preguntar y contestar, okay? No worries. Okay, this is the objective of tonight. All right, so are we already read it? Let's see. Give me one second. Vamos a ver quién nos va a ayudar acá. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Salvador Antonio, please read this for me. Okay. In this session, participants will now identify and use conjunctions such as and, but, so, and, however. All right, let's repeat, uh, identify, everybody, identify. 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 Okay, let's repeat, conjunctions. 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 And let's repeat, uh, such. 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 Excellent, very good, very good, excellent. All right, it says like this, en esta clase, todos los participantes conocerán, identificarán y usarán Conjunción, tales como y, pero, aunque, sin embargo. All right, so. All right, let's see. Vamos a ver primero el video de conjunction y después nos vamos a la matemática. Okay, let's go. It's not too crowded, though. He is really good. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice, so please stay with us. Conjunctions It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. 
It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. Let's repeat everybody. The park is clean, but it's very small. Come on, let's go, everybody. The the, the park is small. Okay, next one. The food is good, but it is very expensive. The food is good, but it is very expensive. One more time. The food is good, but it's very expensive. The food is the good, but it is very expensive. All right, guys, so just allow me to make a short parenthesis, right? So uh, probably you already know about conjunctions, right? And conjunctions are connectors, right? Yo, yo le digo más connectors que conjunctions, right? Se me hace más fácil, no sé por qué, pero eh, me confunde menos, ¿verdad? Decir conectores que, que conjunciones, ¿verdad? Entonces yo ocupo connectors, all right? So... ¿Para qué se utilizan los connectors? Let me tell you this, all right? To sound better, all right? To sound better. When you're talking, I don't know if you notice that there's people, right? Aquí nadie es de esa people, ¿verdad? Esa persona nadie es de eso. Usted no se, no se vaya a sentir mal. De esa gente no existe aquí. Pero hay personas, there's some people that they like to talk like this, right? Uh, por ejemplo, le preguntan... Eh, Tell me about yourself y empiezan, ¿verdad? Uh, me, René, uh, uh, Scamilla, work uh, uh, call center, uh, part-time teacher, part-time call center, um, I have two a, 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 a pets, a perritos, uh, Así, ¿verdad? Se ha fijado que hay personas, aquí no hay ninguno. Yo, yo sé que no hay ninguno, ¿ok? All right, so, but the conjunctions or connectors are the ones that are going to help you to sound better. All right? Lo que le decíamos o lo que hablábamos la, la, la vez anterior, no me acuerdo quién fue que me hizo esta pregunta, pero fue una niña, ¿verdad? No me acuerdo, ya, Rosa creo que fue Rosita, que me dijo, este, me empezó a hablar de, 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 grama, de gramática, y déjeme decirle que yo le di una respuesta incorrecta, porque yo la estuve analizando después que terminamos la clase. Y mis disculpas, all right, because I, may, I, I told her to do not worry about the grammar. And yes, you have to worry about the grammar point because in the future, I don't know if you, if you heard about the TOEFL test. ¿Quiénes han escuchado del TOEFL test? Es un examen que le hacen a yes. todas las personas. Perdón. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yes. Very good. Entonces, el TOEFL test, all right, would be a requirement. For example, if you want to, let's see, I believe if you, if you want to travel to any other country, let's see if you want to travel to the United States or if you want to get another, a better opportunity in your, I mean, at the, at the place where you're working. So le van a decir, okay, Iris. ¿Querés esta posición? Pásame el TOEFL test. Si me lo pasas con 500, por, con 600, te lo garantizo que te lo doy. All right. ¿Y qué quiere decir el TOEFL test? All right. Es el cual donde usted va a aplicar, eh, perdón, uh, los, los four skills que le dije la vez pasada. Reading, writing, speaking, and listening, right? So, and what that means, you need to know grammar, all right? But in this context that we are talking about right now, about conjunctions or connectors, in other words, you need to know 
the, the definition and when and where you are going to use them, right? Porque la señorita, la colleague, we, uh, she was telling us to use it, you know, when you are talking negative and positive things, right? But if, as you can hear, as you can see, when you are listening, or for example, you are listening, everything that I'm talking right now, I'm using connectors because, you see, because I have to in order to explain my information better and better. But, but, but sometimes I need to slow down because some of you didn't understand. Some of you are like, teacher, we don't get it. Okay? Could you please repeat that one more time? Y ahí vamos usando los conectores. Okay. Solo eso les quería decir. Okay, let's go. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. Though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. All right, excellent. Let's see. Give me one second. Let me share some information real quick. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, the platform. Yes. Are you able to see it, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good. All right. So quick review. All right. So we already checked this topic, right? But I just want to, because we didn't check these uh, pages or this um, platform before. Remember that uh, something happened with the internet or I don't know, but I couldn't uh, show you the information. This is a quick review about uh, adjectives. All right. So we have some adjectives over here. If you do have access to this platform, I suggest you to complete the exercises that we have here. No sé si le dije la vez pasada de que a mí no me gusta dejarles tareas, no porque no quiera, sino que ustedes, yo sé que es una persona ocupada, trabajadora, que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Tiene que hacer, tiene sus quehaceres, pero si estamos en este proceso de, eh, de aprender un nuevo, una nueva lengua, tenemos que acoplarnos a las reglas, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo para darles una oportunidad mejor, lo que les digo es esto. Si usted puede, en un, en un documento Word, se lo dije la vez pasada, usted empieza a hacerme los ejercicios en su día libre, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este es algo que se puede hacer en clase, pero dice acá, match each word in the column A with its uh, opposite in column B, then add two more pairs of adjectives to the list. All right, so usted mira aquí cuál es el que, el que como decimos, en el buen salvadoreño, ¿verdad? El que machea, dice aquel, ¿verdad? The one that match. All right, so what would be the one that match from uh, letter A and letter B? From letter A, we have beautiful. What would be the one that match on letter B? Ugly. 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 Very good. Excellent. Ugly. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Well, what about cheap? Expensive. Uh, expensive. Expensive. Excellent. What about clean? Dirty. Polluted. Polluted, mm -hmm. polluted, right? Okay. Uh, what about, let's see, eh, ¿dónde vamos? ¿Dónde vamos? Uh, interesting. Boring. 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 Okay, relaxing. Stressful. Stressful. Stressful, right? Stressful. Safe. Dangerous. Dangerous. Spacious. Crowded. Crowded, right? So, oh, and you yeah. start agrega otros dos acá y lo termina sin ningún compromiso, ¿verdad? Usted lo, lo copia y al final del curso usted me lo manda un día antes a mi WhatsApp, ¿verdad? En un, P, un PDF uh, uh, file. Sí puede, oiga bien, no es mandatorio, sí puede. Yo le digo que lo haga para que se pula más, ¿verdad? Entre más usted escucha o ve inglés, you will be uh, getting better skills, ¿ok? So over here it says, uh, conversation, right? It's a fairly big city. Es una ciudad demasiado grande, ¿verdad? Okay. 
So, no vamos a tomarnos mucho tiempo acá porque este es un diálogo que no tenemos acceso al audio. All right, so, adverbs before adjectives. All right, so, ya lo vimos esto como tres veces. ¿Verdad? Ya se lo puse sí, en... Tengo una pregunta. Dígame, go ahead. ¿A dónde encuentro este, este libro? Yo no lo tengo, creo. No lo tiene, permítame. Creo que, si no me equivoco, vamos a ver si puedo hacer esto, permítame. Vamos a ver... A ver, permítame. Let's ver. Permítame. Permítame, vamos a ver. Ok, let's see. ¿Ton, ¿No tienen ese, ese en, la en, la, en la plataforma está. En la plataforma está, yes. Sí, ahí está. Creo que este, aquí está el link. Ahí lo voy a buscar entonces. Mire, ábrame ese link. Si es posible. Ábrame el link ese que les mandé. Tal vez ahí lo puede ver, mi, mi, mi estimada. Ok. So, let's continue. I'm sorry. All right. So, we already yes. checked this, right? So, we already checked this uh, information, grammar focus. All right. So, over here, we just need to complete, I mean, to double check which ones are the adverbs and the adjectives, right? So, remember. Okay. So, and we check this. Okay. Now, we are in conjunctions, all right? We already double check part of the conjunctions. Como les decía, las, conju las conjunciones o las conjunciones o los connectors are the ones that are going to give you a better expressions. All right. So, and for that, me tomé el tiempo de, de mandarles unas cosas que las vamos a, a identificar en este momento. ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver. Ok, let's go. All right. Let's see. Type of conjunctions, right? In English, right? Conjunctions. All right. So. Usted va a ver esta parte de acá que dice, no sé si me alcanza a ver, si se alcanza a ver, ok. So, bueno, vamos a cerrar esto aquí. ¿Se puede ver lo que estoy compartiendo? No. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, yes. Ex excellent. All right. So, as you can see, we have a three type of conjunctions as well, right? So, coordinating, subordinating, and correlative. All right. So, le vuelvo a repetir. Cometí un error. ¿Verdad? Como le digo, somos humanos y no sé lo que estaba, le estaba diciendo yo a Rosita, a Rose, que le dije yo, no worries, no worries about grammar points. Yes, you have to worry because I forgot about the TOEFL test. Y ahí usted se tiene que acordar de todo esto. Porque ahí se va a acordar, ese examen es de dos, casi dos, tres horas. Son como 150 preguntas, algo así, por el estilo, creo yo. Bueno, ya lo pasé. Anyways, all right. Le va a salir esto, entonces usted va a decir... ¿Qué es fanboys? ¿Qué, what is that? Fanboys. Es decir, este, fan de, de chicos. No, fanboys means for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Fanboys, all right? So, aquí tenemos, ¿verdad? Lo que son las siglas. Y esto se conoce a nivel de inglés y cualquier maestro se lo puede enseñar. Estas son las con, conjunciones de coordina, eh, coordinadas, ¿verdad? Y dice coordinating conjunctions, right? So, usted va a estar habilitado para decir todo esto. Como le digo, yo no quiero que esté pensando todo el tiempo, ok, hoy no dije ninguna, o ninguna conjunción coordinada, Dios mío. No, ni cuenta se va a dar. Lo mismo con las subordinating en las correlatives. All right, so, si usted se fija, usted yo creo que ya, ya ha mencionado estas palabras y ni por cerca sabía que eran conjunctions. ¿Cierto o no cierto? ¿Alguien ya había mencionado más de alguna de estas? Levántame yes. la mano. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, right. Yes, right. For example, yes. for, for example, because. For example, because. Before. Before. before what after, else? When, after. Where. after where, where, where. Whatever. What, what else? So. When. So, when. As far as. Uh -huh. time. time. What about as long as or as soon as? ¿Ya lo habían mencionado? No. All right. Esas son no. como las más, no complicadas, pero usted las va a entender. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, mis estimados, uh, let's see, me one second, let's see, vamos a ponerlo aquí, everyone. Ok, por ejemplo, yo le digo, o usted lo va a escuchar con su jefe. Tal vez alguien trabaja aquí con alguien, algún jefe que es bilingüe, pero él le va a decir, de repente le va a decir así. Por ejemplo, le dice, Amalia, Please bring me that information ASAP. Y Amalia se va a quedar así 
en la, en la luna. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Y qué okay. es? All right. So, o le dicen a, vamos a ver, a Diego. Diego, please, bring me those reports ASAP. Pero, usted entendió lo, el principio. ¿Qué, ¿Qué cree que se le viene a su cabecita plural? A todos, esta, esta pregunta. ¿Qué cree que se le viene a su cabecita, mis niños, mis niñas, que yo les diga, ok, guys, vamos a pretender que mañana es el último día de clases y nadie me dio un día antes la tarea. Yo le digo, ok, guys, I want you to you guys send me tonight the reports and the, and the, and the task or the homework ASAP. What it comes to your mind when, I'm, when we say ASAP? As soon as possible. As soon as possible, as soon as right? Possible. Solamente que las personas, los natives, ellos siempre lo dicen así como, lo, así rápido y te lo van a, se lo van a decir abreviado. As soon as possible, right? So, ASAP. All right, but they might tell you, they might tell you, all right, uh, Abimael, send me, send me those reports as soon as possible, okay? So, Abimael is going to be running. You know, because otherwise he's going to get, you know, fired. Si no, si no manda esos reportes. Okay. So, okay. as soon as possible. All right. So, we have this. Whenever, unless, thou, then. So, that, since. All right. So, if. So, y créame que cada uno de estos tiene también mm. un mm, subtopic. All right. Pero ese es otro tema. No lo voy a confundir. Tenemos los correlative conjunctions. All right. Either or. All right, so neither nor, both, whenever, just as so. Uh, give me one second. Let's see. No me okay. As much as you can. All right, so if I said, uh, please bring, uh, try to study tonight because tomorrow we have the last test. Los que han ido a la, a la universidad, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Han tenido la oportunidad de ir a la universidad. Usted sabe que es estar en un parcial, ¿verdad? Que ni solo se oye hasta un ruidito de zancudo, ¿verdad? Que anda ti. Y cuidadito, me voy a volver a ver al compañero porque me le quitan la papeleta, así de fácil, ¿verdad? Y le dice. Hasta el, hasta el bolsón pone uno adelante del, es, del salón. Exacto, y le dicen, adiós, thank you very much, ¿verdad? Entonces, vienen y le dicen, tomorrow we will have the next exam, I mean, the last exam, the last test, the last parcial, the last test. And please try to study as much as you can. ¿Verdad? As much as you can. All right. So, y usted va a ir viendo, va a ir utilizando. Quiero que se grabe todas estas, todas estas, um, ¿cómo se llama? Conjunctions. Y usted va a ver de que le, esto le va a servir en gran manera. Right. Para que su conversación, sus expresiones en inglés sean de una mejor relevancia, ¿verdad? Y no se oiga como mambling. You know what a mambling is? It's like a, como tartamudeando, ¿verdad? Con el respeto a las personas que no pueden expresarse bien con su lenguaje, pero en el sentido que yo se lo estoy diciendo es como yo me expresé, ¿verdad? Anteriormente, que usted está um, 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 eh, no. Entonces, that's the reason that we need to use conjunctions, all right? So, Remember, conjunction, you already know how to express. If I ask you some questions, if I say, let's see, vamos a preguntarle a los que tienen la cámara apagada. Vamos a ver quién es. Y los enojados, porque hay varios enojados, ya los vi. Vamos a ver, Aleida Arely, la primera que tiene la cámara. Aleida Arely y García Martínez, are you there? Yes. Digo Aleida, Dios mío, me acaban de llamar y no sé qué decir, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos a ver. Otro que tiene la cámara apagada, vamos a ver. Henry Alejandro Flores. Tampoco. Yes, teacher. Very yes. good, very, very good, very good. Uh, Henry, no, I was about to ask you when somebody is telling you some information about, I mean, about you, if somebody's asking you some information, you need to be, I mean, you need to be ready in order to answer anything that they are asking, right? So, If I said, Henry, hey, Henry, let's see, tell me about yourself. What will be your answer? Let's have a short conversation, Henry. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead. Tell me about yourself, Henry. How old are you? I don't know, teacher. Sorry. 
No, it's okay, it's okay. You see, esa pregunta la tendrían, la tendrían que saber ya todos. All right? Si no se lo dijeron previous teachers, no sé qué pasó, pero usted tiene que saber esta pregunta así letal, letal, porque usted ya va para un nivel mayor y cuando usted ya se sienta capaz, por decir, yo sé que varios están aquí porque quieren ir a aplicar a un lugar donde, digamos, un call center, right? Para ir a ver si puede uh, uh, trabajar en una cuenta en inglés. La primera pregunta que me le van a hacer, mi estimado, mi estimada, va a ser, tell me about yourself. Esa va a ser una pregunta, le dejo eso de tarea, pero como le digo, una investigación que usted la haga y no me mande nada, solo hágalo usted. All right. Las diez primeras preguntas que hacen en un call center. Búsquelo y la primera es, tell me about yourself. ¿Qué va a decir usted? Oh, o sea, prácticamente le estoy preguntando que me diga acerca de usted. Pero si usted está buscando trabajo, no me va a ir a hablar uh, de, mi, de, de su persona. Así como yo le dije ahora al principio de la clase. Ah, uh, I like to sleep from, you know, from 6 o'clock a.m. to... 11, and after 11, I like to have my lunch, and, uh, you know, I start watching movies a little bit, but then I like to go to sleep again from 1 to 6 p.m., and I like to listen to music, I like to play piano, I like to read, yeah. no, no, right? Yes, who says teacher? Sure. <laughs> yes, go ahead. It's, it's about uh, your experience. Kinda, kinda about your experience, all right? Yes, but needs to be, yes, practically, yes, needs to be about your experience that you are going to uh, apply at the place that you are looking for a job. For example, if you are looking for a job, let's see if you are at, uh, let's see, vámonos al call center, pero no vamos a poner otra, lo vamos a hacer más fácil. Usted va al call center, pero en el call center, acuérdese que necesitan personas que sean periquitos, ¿verdad? Periquitos en el sentido que tiene que hablar. Que tiene que hablar. Por eso se llama un call center, right? Si usted llama al call center de, de la pizza, de cualquier lugar, ¿verdad? Voy a omitir nombres, perdón. Si usted habla de un lugar de, de comida rápida, de servicios electrónicos, lo que sea, ¿verdad? Que cuando, le llama, cuando usted llama, no le dicen, llama y... Vamos a pretender que la llamada es así, ¿verdad? Tú, tú. Y de repente levantan el auricular, el, auricular, el teléfono y le hacen. Y usted dice, hello, hola, hola, buenas. Y verdad que nadie se queda callado. No sé qué, aló, me escucha. Aló, y viene usted lo que hace es colgar. Porque no le están escuchando. Lo primero que dice el, el agente dice. En español, ¿verdad? Dice, buenas tardes, mi nombre es René Escamilla, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Gracias por llamar a, a tal empresa, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Ah, esto ya es cierto, ¿Me, ¿me puede dar el número de cuenta? Sí, ok. okay ¿Para cuántas pero, personas será su orden? ¿Para cuántas personas ah, será su orden? Yes, ok, pum, 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 y ahí va. Bien sabe, ¿verdad? En inglés, we be the same thing, all right? I'm looking, for a I'm looking for people that likes to talk a lot. A lot, all right? So that's the reason that you need to speak, 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 speak. And the first question would be, tell me about yourself, all right? So esa pregunta va a ser letal y quiero que me la estudie o estudie, como dijo aquel, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos, dígame, Iris, go ahead. Um, ¿Por qué no veo well? ¿No podría ser un conector? Well, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Es que ya lo he usado de alguna vez, pero entonces no, no sé si era correcto. Sí, por aquí está, permítame, ya lo vamos a buscar, es que estos son los, los, los básicos, ya lo, ya lo vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, sí, ok, no, no. Hay, hay más, entonces podrían haber más. No, there's many, there's many, Infinidad. Infinidad, exacto, exacto, estos son, the, these ones are the ones that you guys are going to use, you know, as a normal business, right? However, you know, there's more and some other conversations. You see, ya ocupé uno yo, however. All right, however. Cuando usted empieza a utilizar las palabras, paso a paso usted va a ir su... No, Yare, no me mueva. Su, ¿cómo se llama? Su hard disk va a ir captando y creando las oraciones apropiadamente. Pero empieza a usar, por ejemplo, usted dice, 
voy a utilizar ahora however, pero quiero ver en qué, en qué oración lo puedo aplicar. Entonces usted viene y empieza a hablar, ¿verdad? No, the thing is that I like to speak English. The, the, the thing is that it's very hard. However, I uh, would try to study a little more. Si se dio cuenta, el inglés es lo que a mí me gusta, pero sin embargo voy a tratar de estudiar un poco más. Así lo puede empe empezar a aplicar. All right. So, anyways, let's see. Vámonos para acá. Vamos a ver. Tenemos otra cosa por acá. Mira, aquí tenemos otras conjunctions as well. All right. So, these ones are coordinating conjunctions. Mira, aquí está. Eh? The fanboys, lo que le decía. Y aquí hay unos ejemplos. I have to help you for I cannot stand still when someone needs assistance. All right. So, and the deadline is tomorrow and I am already worried sick. All right. So, y es como se fija, aquí están los ejemplos. Ya les mandé estos, estos ejemplos a, al WhatsApp. Quiero que los tenga, pero no los tenga de adorno. Quiero que los analice, los... los Vea, los, los uh, lea, los estudie y los aplique every time that you are talking, all right? So, mira, acá tenemos uh, correlative conjunctions, all right? So, both and, either or, neither nor, whether or, not only, but also, such as that, scarce, uh, scarcely when, no sooner than, all right? So, let's see. Vamos a pasar lista right away, ok? Give me one second. Es que una hora no es nada acá. Rápido se va la hora, ¿se dio cuenta? Y aquí hay mucha, yes. tela, que, hay mucha tela que cortar, créame. Vamos a ver. Yes. Vamos a ver, let's see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A ver. Ok. All right, so just uh, say hello. I'm here, present, and that's it. All right, so give me one second. All right, uh, Bimael Octavio Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you, Aleida Arely Garcia Martinez. Present. Thank you, Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Perez. Here. Thank you, Diego Francisco Aguilar Rodriguez. Yeah. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth en en Enriqueta Revir Rivera de Lopez. Present. You miss? Uh, let's see. Francisco Armando Garcia Florentino. Present. Thank you, sir. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Present. Thank you, sir. Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, sir. Iris uh, Vanessa Quiller Batres. No. Thank you. Isaac Adonai Tawar. Isaac Adonai Tawar. It's not here. Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. Present. Thank you, Joao Mauricio Bialta Sorto. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Herminio Ramirez Umaña. Present. Thank you. Jose Heriberto Duran Prado. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Juana Aines Velasquez Carranza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present, teacher. Linda Hazel Fernandez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mario del Carmen, Maria, I'm sorry, Maria del Carmen Guzman Alvarado. Present, teacher. Mi Thank you, Miriam Darlene Escobar Ceron. Present. Miriam Maricel Escobar Ceron. Present. Thank you, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present. Or Thank you, Orquidia Esmeralda Escobar Porcillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernandez. I'm here. Thank you, Rosa Esperanza Plites Martinez. Here, teacher. Thank you, Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Present. Thank you, Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Present. Thank you, Sonia uh, Egriselda Pinti de Mengibar. Sonia Egriselda Pinti de Mengibar. She's not here. Okay, Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Tomas Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. Present. Tomas, thank you. Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you guys. All right, so I believe some of you already uh, sent me some information that you're not gonna be here, right? So 
because uh, you have some problems. Remember that you need to send the information also or double check the information with your coordinator. All right, so they are the ones that are going to give you a better and nice answers related to any issue that you have, okay? So, okay, let's go back on track. Let's see, give me one second. Uh, let's see where we add. Estamos, permítame que me quede por acá. Okay, let's see. All right. I'm going to do this faster. Oops. All right. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now with you guys. Yes. Yes, right? So we were checking yeah. this. This uh, yeah. correct. Thank you. We were checking this uh, coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, all right? Previously, we had uh, the other conjunctions, all right, let's see. Uh, subordinating conjunctions, right? R uh, rather than, as much as as, whereas, then, whether. All right, so I suggest you guys, otra tarea, una, otra tarea que le voy a dejar, all right? So, once again, no es mandatorio. Trate la manera de buscar qué quiere decir cada cada conjunction de la que usted está viendo en este momento, all right? O sea, el significado, all right? No, pero que sea una clase de inglés, no es una clase de traducción, yo sé, ¿verdad? Pero se lo sugiero que lo haga, ¿verdad? Como eh, vivo ejemplo que me sucedió a mí y créame que le va a ayudar, all right? Solo póngalo así, ok? Uh, let's see, since, desde, uh, by the time, desde el, desde el tiempo, now, that, entonces lo pone y usted ya va a tener una idea qué es lo que está hablando, ¿verdad? Entonces, créame que esto usted lo va a, util, lo va a, lo va a usar como tiene, no tiene idea. Para serle sincero, hay, hay, hay conjunctions aquí que yo no las he usado. ¿Podría creer eso? Pues con eso le digo todo. Mm -hmm. Hay conjunctions que yo no las he usado. Y ya tengo más de 10 años en este mercado, ¿verdad? En este ambiente. Entonces, ahí le digo todo, ¿ok? So, now, let's see. Uh, I know that we are we are about to leave. All right, so let's see. Voy a escoger a alguien que tenga la cámara apagada. Vamos a ver. Permítame. Quiero ver qué se hizo. Cámaras apagadas. Henry, no, ya me contestó. Henry, me contestó. Jessica, are you there? Jessica Melendez. Okay, Jessica no está. Creo que está de oyente. Linda Hazel. Fernand Díaz. Me contestaron y no me contestan a ese momento. Mire qué bonito. All right. Perdón. Can you see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes. O se fue el Inter. No, está en la conjunción sí. ahorita. En la conjunción. Okay, perfecto. Yes. Permítame. Es que estábamos acá que iba a ser otro. Uh... All right, vamos a pasar. People. What about this? Okay, let's see. All right. All right, let's do this together. Are you able to see what I'm checking right now? Yes, coordinating conjunctions. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, the bell, the bell rang. The bell rang. Or and I mean and so but all the students went home. What will be the answer? A, B, C, D. B. Sí. D. 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 So, so. Okay. okay. Yeah. The, students, the students turn in the homework or in so, but the teacher didn't grade it. Letter A, B, C, D. Five seconds. Come on, let's go. D. 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 There we go. All right, should I order a chocolate shake or and but so? B, A. A. Or. 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 A. Or. A. All right, A, letter A, very good. All right, Tim has one dog, A, B, C, D, or so, but, B. and. B. 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 D. 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 Excellent. D. All right, I finishes, I finish it, my dinner. And so, but, or I'm still hungry. C. 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 Okay, excellent. 
The students can work independently and but also they can work in groups. D. D. C. C. C or. All right, so not a problem. I left school early. So and but or I could go to my dentist appointment. A. 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 Okay. Excellent. All right. The girls went to the zoo, but and so or took pictures of all the of all the animals. D. 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 Oh. C. B. 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 All right. B. B. All right. The last one. Oops, sorry. All right. The restaurant serves a delicious food, food, or yet, and so it is very expensive for low income neighborhoods. C. C as in Carlos. C. C. D. B. B. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, very good. All right, so let's see. Let's uh, play another one before you go. Let's see. Let's see this one. All right, if you, as you can see, guys, you didn't realize, right? If it is a uh, coordinating conjunction, right? Usted se dio cuenta de eso, verdad que no? Yeah. O se, o lo, o lo, lo exteriorizó. <laughs> Usted dijo, oh, these ones are coordinating conjunctions. ¿Verdad que no? Tal vez más adelante usted va a decir, ah, these ones are coordinating conjunctions, right? So, mira que están las subordinated, right? So, esta es prácticamente solo identificarlas cuáles son, ¿verdad? Pero esta es una aleatoria, una cosa aleatoria. Déjeme ver si puedo poner, creo que se me borró esto de acá. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si me borró, pero aquí tenemos nuevamente esta página que me encanta. All right, let's see. Teníamos un, prácticamente un, creo que se borró también. Bueno, vamos a dejar así, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente quiero ver si alguien me puede ayudar en este momento con algo rápidamente. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Okay, give me one second. All right, let's see. Sin miedo al éxito, please, all right? So if I do ask some questions, answer, no worries, all right? So I'm not going to hurt you. Yo no lo voy a lastimar, ni nadie le va a decir nada, ¿ok? Solo contésteme y that's it. All right, si puede y si no puede, yo, lo, le ayudamos. Vamos a ver a uh, la más sonriente aquí que estamos acá. Quiero ver el que, el que se ría, él participa. Quiero ver, mire, todos están bien serios. Quiero ver el que se ría, estoy viendo. Ah, ya vi. Iris, please, usted se rió. Ya vi que, ese, yo, sí, se sí, estaba riendo, ¿ok? Iris. Tell me a sentence where you can uh, apply, uh, let's see, lo que hemos aprendido, adverbios, adjetivos, o conjunctions. Una oración donde usted puede aplicar eso. Cualquier oración, pero así que le caiga de así de, del cielo. Le voy a dar un minuto. Go ahead. One, two, three. Go ahead. I, I am dancing. I'm dancing. Um, I sing. Uh huh. I am dancing and. And I sing. And I, oh, I am dancing and I am. And I'm singing. And I am singing. And I am singing. All right. So very good. Okay. Let's see. Vamos a pararlo aquí. Let's see. Mirna Griselda, tell me a sentence. Le voy a dar. 13 o 10 segundos. Okay, a sentence de lo mismo. Conjunctions, adjectives, or um, adverbs, right? Go ahead. Uh, the bitch. The bitch, the bitch. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Bow. It's. But. But is. It is. Dangerous, right? Dangerous. All right, excellent. Yeah. All right, so Joao, please, I, I will give you 30 seconds. Go ahead. I like uh, I, I like to work. Like to work? 
the mo uh, no work work i like to work 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 I mean, oh work, work 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 i'm sorry work uh huh in the morning but uh, but early 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 uh, after all right, I like to walk in the morning, but early after. Sí, o sea, me gusta ir a caminar en la mañana, pero me levanto, me, me, me levanto tarde. All right. Uh. I like to work, I like, I like to walk in the morning, but I wake up. I wake up. But I wake up early. late. Late. Ah, late, late. Uh -huh. All right, very good, very good. Let's see who else want to participate. I know that we that we already finished. All right, so anybody else want to participate with uh, a sentence? I will give you thirty seconds. Anybody raise your hand? Oh, lo voy a, lo voy a elegir yo. Roxanita, Jasmine, quiere participar? Yes, teacher. There we go, Roxani. All right, let's see. I mean, Roxy. I'm sorry. All right, let let's go. Let me let me give you thirty seconds. Give me a sentence now. Go ahead. Uh, for example, I love your chicken salad for lunch. I love chicken salad. Chicken salad. Chicken salad for, for lunch. lunch. Excellent. Very good. Why you don't have your camera on? Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let me give you. Let me. Let me select another one. Anybody else want to participate? Remember, guys. Just oh, let's go to see. Go ahead. Después va Gabriel. Go ahead. The class was very interesting. The class was very interesting. Interesting. Excellent. All right. So, okay, let's go, Gabriel. Picture the dogs are friendly than cats. The dogs are friendly pets. Than cats. Okay, the dogs are friendly. Are the dogs are friendly? Uh huh. Then cats. Oh, then cats. Okay. Then cats. All right. Excellent. All right. So, uh, Jose Ermini, okay, go ahead. Yes, I want to sleep, but I have to go to airport. I want to sleep, but I have to go to airport. I have to to go to airport. Oh, I have to go to the airport. I have to go. I have to go to the airport. 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 All right. So now let me let me see. Let me ask you the last question, guys. Do you realize? Usted se dio cuenta si me dijo coordinated coordinated uh conjunctions or me dijo este subordinated or correlative. Se dieron cuenta de eso? No, dicho. Verdad que no. Entonces, that's my point, right? Se lo repito nuevamente, lo retiro y lo quito y lo deshago y lo desecho y todo esto, ¿verdad? Que se, lo que le dije yo a Rossi. Sí, apréndase los grammar points. Los puntos gramaticales hay que aprenderlos siempre. Por ese examen, bello que un día usted lo va a tomar, ¿verdad? Lindo ese, ese, ese examen. Es bien bello, ¿no? Es que es bien bello. Usted lo va a tomar solo, un día. Y solo dura por cierto tiempo, al parecer, ¿verdad? Y por cierto Luego tiempo, hay que repetirlo. Solo dura uh -huh. dos horas, que son como 150 hasta 200. No, quiero ver. 50, 50, como 200 preguntas son. Y por cada. No, teacher, porque dura un año o algo así, no sé. No, oh, ah, creo que como seis meses. No, o dura dos, año, dos, años, dos, dos años, dura. Dos años dura. <ríe> Para variar, imagínense, lo tiene que re, lo tiene que hacer nuevamente otro día, otra vez para poderlo usar. O sea, lo tiene que, se tiene que actualizar. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time. You see, the time is, you know, go fast. Entonces, necesitamos una hora más. Entonces, esa hora usted la tiene que tomar por su cuenta y darle con todo, ¿verdad? I see you tomorrow, God's will, and thank you very much. Thank and have a, you. have a great Thank night. You, See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. 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 Good night, guys. Bye bye. Take care. All right. So rest, rest, rest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Juana. Uh, I mean, I'll see you tomorrow, Francisco, Gabriel, and Miriam. Go ahead. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Thank you so much.
Bye-bye.